This story is retarded don't read it hello, my name is Jimmy. I am going to share with you all a story about creepy things that happened when I was trying to play my favorite game, Super Mario 64. I just found a cartridge of this game on the streets. This is my favorite game. I found it on the streets, and then I tried to play it and then creepy things happened when I was trying to play my favorite game. The first three days, Half-Life 3 confirmed. I found a game on the streets, and then I popped that bitch on my limited edition PK Chook flavor N64 only available at shop and stop. Then, the game started normally. It was my favorite game, so I 100% edit in 3 days cause it's my favorite game. So then I noticed nothing was creepy about it, so I just went to sleep in my bed that I have been sleeping in a lot since I was 14 probably because it's a bed, duh. There were some good times in that bed. I remember me and my little brother used to sleep together in that bed and then play some N64 at night and sometimes touch bum bums. He died. Yeah. Nothing creepy happened these first three days. The weird things are happening. Start. No press o oh have mercy. On the fourth day, some weird things were happening. In the first screen with Mario's head, the press in press start was missing. I'm very scared now because usually there's supposed to be a press in press start but there is no press I know this for sure because this is my favorite game so this is automatically spooky. So then I pressed start, and then it took me to the file select menu, and that's when I noticed that there was no sound. I got my TV remote and then I pressed the volume up button and then there was sound. I really didn't get why when I pressed the volume up button the sound came on. It was right when I pressed it too. This is very weird, I know for a fact that the N64 doesn't connect with the TV remote. So then I played the game some more and then I wrote a fucking blog about this which was banned shortly after because they just don't appreciate my swicked. Later after, the creepiest thing happened. The nerdy guy with the glasses who's on a cloud that represents your camera in the game was replaced with a floating face of my dead brother. I recognized it because I love my brother. Afterwards, the game just went to a red flashing screen, and then playing really loud noises. I didn't know how to fix this, so I tried turning off my N64, and it wouldn't turn off. Then I tried to turn off the TV. Still nothing. I tried unplugging everything, calling the electric company asking them to turn off my electric, burning the house down and it was still doing that scary thing. Blood, oh no, was dripping from my TV. So then I had about enough of this and I got mad and ate a motherfucking pop tart bitch. Later that day, I tried one more thing. I threw a Snickers bar at my N64, and the red flashing and loud noises stopped. I knew why it stopped. It's because my N64 was just hungry. I think my dead brother was trying to teach me a lesson that I should care more for my stuff on 20 other posts in one hour or I'll come in your house and kill you. Don't believe me? Look up Michael Jackson. I slit his throat real good. Real good.